Are you looking for a travel trailer under 3,500 pounds? We found some fantastic models that we reviewed. Come on in, let's check them out. Hi guys, Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera and today we're taking a look at small travel trailers under 3,500 pounds. Now if this is your first time visiting us on our YouTube channel, welcome aboard. We hope you enjoy all of our videos that we've created about RVing and we also hope that you'll check out our website rvblogger.com where we have hundreds of articles all about RVing as well. Today we're going to take a look at travel trailers that weigh under 3,500 pounds and we found eight really really cool models. They're all different in some way or another and we decided to go ahead and check them out and do a review. So let's get started now. So this is the Intech Flyer Explorer 10.6 toy hauler travel trailer. This baby is meant to go off-road it, you can fit a really nice size ATV in here or motorcycle, no problem. But one of the really coolest features I like about this particular travel trailer toy hauler is the pop-out feature. I haven't seen this very often on a, on a travel trailer toy hauler. It's kind of like a hybrid toy hauler. Um, but as you guys know, as, as an old tent camper, I just have a, a spot in my heart for the pop-out style because you can sleep here and it feels like you're sleeping in a tent zip down all three and you have a nice mesh awning all around you and you just get that real outdoorsy tent feel when you're sleeping uh, which I particularly love but anyway it also maximizes the space that you have available in here and um, it opens up really really nice towards the front of the RV you have some countertop space uh, the outdoor kitchen actually slides in under this and we'll take a look at that in a minute and then you have some storage overhead as well. Um, there's also a very large door on the other side and we'll, we'll take a look at that when we go outside to see the kitchen area. So here we are outside and you can see that door that I mentioned before. This is a really wide door opening, much wider than most doorways that we see. So that's a nice feature we think, especially if you're trying to carry heavy gear inside and out. As you can see, it is set up for off-roading and it's got the larger tires, the larger wheels, uh, really nice ground clearance as well. And then you have your sort of outdoor kitchen set up. They have a Dometic fridge here as well. And the one thing that kind of strikes me odd is that the stovetop sort of faces the wrong way. It actually opens this way and you have a two burner uh, stove top in here. It just seemed to me maybe the lid should open this way. Maybe it's reversible, although I don't really see how, especially with the control knobs in here and everything. So I don't know, that's a bit bizarre to me. But uh, anyway, it's got everything that you need for your outdoor kitchen area. Up top, it does come with the Rhino rack system, and it's got a bat wing awning also that comes out. So uh, pretty complete setup really nice uh, trailer. I might have forgotten to mention the size of it. It's uh, 1930 pounds. It is 16 feet long um, and width wise it goes to 15 feet 6 inches from the end of the kitchen opening to the far end of the pop-up opening. So when it's fully open, six, uh, 15 uh, feet 6 inches wide. So we really like this model for a toy hauler because it's got the pop-out feature something we normally don't see. So pretty cool pop-up, pretty cool travel trailer, toy hauler, we think. This travel trailer under 3,500 pounds is the Coachman Clipper 17BH. It's about 20 feet long and it weighs 3,014 pounds empty. Now, they have done some really cool things inside of this camper because it can sleep five people. Most campers this, slot, this size can only sleep two or three, so you'll see some very cool things that they did in here in just a minute. But you start out when you walk in, you've got a short queen bed off to the right hand side. Have some storage cabinets up over top. You know, plenty of storage there. It actually is pretty deep. So I kind of like that. And there's a little bit of storage and a little sort of a head, you know, a little nightstand above the bed over here. Coming into the kitchen area. Um, it's an inline kitchen, but it has a lot of countertop space, especially when this is in place over top of the sink. 
The sink certainly isn't too big, but it's not a bad size. It's got a two burner stove and then a microwave above. Storage down below, deep storage up top. So uh, I like all that so far. Across from the kitchen area, we have a dinette. You could fit four people in here. It might be a little bit of a tight fit, but you could do it. And of course, this converts into a single bed as well. So we're up to three people sleeping in here so far. We're gonna take a look at the other end of the trailer and you'll see how we make it to how it sleeps up to five people. So this end of the trailer has a bunkhouse, which is how you get to sleep five people in here. And it's really unusual for a small travel trailer to have a bunkhouse in it, but we think it's a really cool design. Um, the only thing I'm not so sure about is this door that leads outside underneath here. I know when I was a little kid, if I had that door, I'd be gone exploring the campground at night while everybody was asleep. Uh, probably get caught too. Anyway, now we're gonna take a look at the bathroom in here. And um, it's, a tight, it's a tight fit in the bathroom. So here I am in the bathroom and it's a very basic bathroom setup. It's just a shower and a commode. There's no sink in here, but the shower is about three feet wide and it also has a built-in tub. So instead of just a shower stall, if you have small kids and you need a bathtub, it has one built in. The commode is set, you know, in a good spot elbow room wise. Only one of my turkey wings is able to go out, but that's okay. They try to make the most of all the space that they can in here. We think the Clipper did a great job with the bunkhouse in a travel trailer that weighs under 3,500 pounds. This small camper is the Nobo or No Boundaries by Forest River. It is a toy hauler also, and it weighs, as you can see, 1,744 pounds. So it's very light, very easy to tow. It's also set up to go off road. It's got the larger tires, the higher wheelbase, everything you need to take this baby off road and haul your toys out into the desert or wherever you're gonna go and ride all around. Inside the Nobo, it's big enough that you could fit an ATV in here or maybe a motorcycle, but it's really a no frills inside of here. Uh, underneath here is a rubber garage floor, but there's also these mats that come so you could sleep inside your Mobo while your toy's sitting outside overnight. Behind me, there's a little bit of storage up top and a cabinet on my right hand side, but very, very basic on the inside. There's also a little tray on each side that you could use in here if you're sitting in here eating a meal or something along those lines. One other really nice feature that I like though is it's got this really heavy mesh netting that you can put up. It's all magnet, so you just pull it, it comes up and down very, very easily, snaps into place super simple uh, but this way you can stay in here put your netting up enjoy the fresh air and get a good night's sleep another really nice feature about the nobo is that it has a side door but it has one on each side so you can open up your doors leave the screen door closed and get some nice cross ventilation that way as well also out here you'll notice that it comes with the rhino rack awning and the rhino rack itself so if you wanted to throw a kayak or something up there you could do that very very easily also outside it has an outside pantry uh, the cooler is an actual as an option that you could add on but of course you're going to do that you want to have a nice nice setup outside with a cooler and it also comes with a two burner range out here as well and then one other feature that you can add on to the Nobo is the tent that goes on top of the roof. Um, so if you have more than two people with you, you can have two people sleep up top, two people sleep down below, and get away with four people camping in your Nobo for the weekend. And I also wanna let you know that this unit also does come with an air conditioner as well. So this travel trailer under 3,500 pounds is the R-Pod number 189 is that right yep okay and it weighs 3075 pounds and it's 20 feet 4 inches when you first walk in the front door you walk right into the living and dinette area and this table's actually removable and the sofa jack nice into a bed but it's a nice little spot i really like the couch here and everything and then directly across from me is a tv area so um, they make a good use of the living and dinette area. So in the kitchen area, it's got a nice inline kitchen setup. It's got a round, 
deep bowl sink to save space. Decent amount of countertop space. And then it's got a two burner range, a little bit of storage over top for you. And then there's plenty of storage down below as well. And then over here, we have a microwave up top and a small uh, refrigerator with freezer as well. Directly across from the kitchen is the bathroom. We'll take a look at that next and then we'll finish up in the bedroom. Okay, so here I am in the bathroom of this R-Pod and the shower is just about three feet wide. Normal size shower. Uh, it's got a medicine cabinet, vanity with a little bit of storage below and next to it, and then the commode area. Okay, so here I am in the bedroom area which features a short queen bed. There's a window on each side which is great for getting some cross breeze on a nice cool evening. Uh, not a lot of storage space, but there is some storage space down below. And then, of course, on the right-hand side here, there are a bank of drawers. And there's a little wardrobe area as well. So a lot of folks really love our pods. We think they do a nice job with their design, too. And for a travel trailer under 35 pounds, 3,500 pounds, that's about 20 feet long, we think they made a good use of the space. This hybrid travel trailer is the Jayco Jayfeather X17Z. Sounds like a football play if you ask me, but it weighs about 3,285 pounds and it's about 18 feet, nine inches long. So it's very compact and light. So a lot of vehicles should be able to tow this hybrid. And that's one of the big advantages of a hybrid is how light they are. Um, this particular one obviously has a pop-out section on each end, about a queen-size bed here, sort of tucks behind the bathroom which provides a little privacy for you. In the kitchen area, I really like the design they have here. They have the white cabinetry with the black glass fronts built into them. The white and the black contrast just looks really nice and appealing. It feels very, very good in here. It's got a large double bowl sink, a nice faucet over, over top, and then we have a three burner range, small oven, and a microwave over top. Across from the kitchen, uh, we have the refrigerator area. And then on top of the fridge is where we have a TV located. Now on this end of the hybrid trailer, we also have the bathroom and we'll take a look in there next. Well, as you can see in the bathroom, I don't want to fall out of this thing. Uh, in my opinion, the shower is just a little bit small in this bathroom and it has a curtain, which I'm not really fond of. I, if I was in here taking a shower, I'm sure I would hit the curtain by accident. Water would be on the floor. Um, I prefer the glass door enclosures myself and that might be an option in here, but it looks like it comes standard with the curtain. Um, also, it does come with a medicine cabinet, which is very nice. And it's got a decent sized vanity and vanity cabinet down below for storage. As far as the elbow test goes, well, ah, one side no go, other side I can flap freely and uh, seems like it's a decent sized bathroom altogether. On this side of this hybrid travel trailer, we have a really nice comfy couch, which also jackknifes into a bed. You'll notice above me, some really nice dark rich cabinetry, plenty of storage space up there. And then across from the sofa, of course, we have a dinette area for four. And uh, this dinette can also convert into a bed as well. And again, additional storage over top is a really nice feature. We also even have some small storage up top here. So there's plenty of place to, plenty of nooks and crannies to store things. And then the tent camping part, again, it's about a queen size bed size, very large area, very comfortable. And, um, but it's a great lightweight, budget-friendly travel trailer hybrid. This small travel trailer is the Dawn sold by Intec RV, and it weighs about 2,700 pounds. It's 16 feet long, but it's a really, really great setup. It's got a fiberglass construction to it, and it is just designed really, really well. The whole front end of the sole becomes a big bed, so there's plenty of sleeping area up here, as you can see and it also serves as your dinette area. And then take a look at this view. I mean, it's just a full window in the whole front of this travel trailer, which is, I think, really spectacular. In addition to that, it's got windows that open on both sides, so you can get a nice cross ventilation through, and you can see there's storage, like 
around the top on both sides. So, um, and it's, it's pretty cool looking. It's got some neat little blue lights in there. It creates a cool ambiance. Susan and I are going to switch spots and we'll take a look at the other, si other side of this travel trailer. So on the front end of this travel, or the, I guess the back end of this travel trailer, the uh, kitchen area is up here and the bathroom as well. The kitchen area has a nice deep single bowl, like a farm style sink, pretty nice. Nice countertop, also has a two burner stove. And then of course we have a refrigerator and a microwave oven above that. On the right hand side over here, we have additional storage space. And then a little, little countertop, you could use this for a charging station or whatever. TV above that so you can watch TV while you're hanging out or laying in bed in the evening. And then uh, inside the bathroom, it's really, really a good sized bath. So let's take a look in here real quick as well. As you can see, the bathroom, as far as width and length goes, you know, it's a pretty decent size wet bath that they have inside of this particular model. The only issue I have with it is I'm going to stand up and I'm 5'11 and I'm not going to make it all the way up. And even if I stand in the sun, you know, in the vent area, which should be a little taller, I'm still hitting my head on the screen. So not a lot of height in here, but, you know, for a small camper with a bathroom, it's got everything that you need. It's just a little minor inconvenience on the headspace, but hey, for a great camper this size, you really can't beat it. It's got an upscale uh, shower head as well, so that's a really nice feature to have in here. So uh, the, the uh, Dawn Soul, we think, is a pretty nice travel trailer. This travel trailer is both a small travel trailer under 3,500 pounds, but it's also used for off-roading. It is the Winnebago Hike. 170s model and it weighs about 3260 pounds and it's just about 21 feet long but it's a really nice travel trailer for being on the smaller side and lighter side of things winnebago has nice features inside nice appointments when you come in here it just has a nice modern feel to it and uh, on this end it has a short queen bed um, it's got a little bit of storage not a lot there's nothing underneath and you just have this storage shelf over top, and that's about it. Um, uh, it sleeps three people all together, though, because the dinette area actually converts into a bed, which would fit one person. Then you've got some additional storage over top, and it's got these neat-looking cabinets. Whoa! Kind of looks like an airplane in here. <laughs> Don't let go of them, I guess. They slam pretty hard. <laughs> Across from the dinette area, is a kitchen area and this whole area of the kitchen slides in and out so gives you a little extra space in here uh, good size single bowl sink it's got a two burner stove uh, no oven little bit of storage space underneath which is good because there's not a lot in here and then of course you have your refrigerator with a microwave over top um, and um, that's it pretty basic we're gonna take a look at the bathroom area next Okay, so here we are in the bathroom, and it's a big bathroom with a teeny shower. Um, I think this thing, you know, I'm, I don't think it's even two feet in either direction. It's probably close, but you need a shower curtain to go around yourself. So when you're taking a shower in here, you would be bumping into this curtain constantly. Um, I think it's just a little too small. But anyways, the only real downside in here, the rest of the bathroom is nice and big. Uh, storage space and then you've got a, a nice vanity area with some countertop space to the side storage underneath and then the commode you know elbow test plenty of room really for this so the only downside to the bathroom is I think the shower is a little bit small but all in all for a travel trailer that's an off-road travel trailer at that that's uh, only 3260 pounds you know, they've done the most that they can in the space that they have available. So this particular travel trailer under 3,500 pounds is the New Camp Tab Boondocker Light Solo model. And it is just about 28, 2,900 pounds. And it's about 18, 19 feet long. And it's a really nice trailer. When you come in here, I, I feel like I'm inside of an airplane. It's just got a very nice modern feel to it. I like all the accent lighting, the cabinetry and everything is very, very nice and chic. 
Um, the door itself has a really different kind of screen door set up, which I think is really, really cool. Very efficient, very easy to use. And uh, the dinette is very modern looking. This actually converts into another bed, so a third person can sleep in here. Sleeps three all together. Above, we've got some nice accent lighting and also some storage as well. And then we have a very efficient kitchen area. It's got a microwave above, plenty of storage up here, fancy uh, round deep bowl sink, which is pretty cool. It's got sort of an airplane style or a boat knob on here to keep it shut and secure and in place. We have a two burner stove, tons of drawer space. You can pull these drawers all the way out so there's a lot of storage space to use as well. And then across from the kitchen we have the bathroom area and we'll take a look at that next. Now this particular travel trailer has a wet bath in it which means that the commode and the shower are all one room. But it's got all this nice nicely lit extra storage space and then it's got a pretty cool design for the sink in here as well so really fancy setup and uh, there's a curtain that would go around a track above so you could keep everything dry that's on your on your shelves and and stored away uh, so pretty nice little wet bath setup inside of here so on this end of the travel trailer is the queen size bed and this is a full queen size bed that this converts into this just slides out all the way across this cushion lays on top and this whole this whole area makes a full queen size bed we didn't talk about it in the kitchen earlier but your refrigerator is right here and there's a sound system above as well and then there's also a TV that swivels out on an arm so you can see it while you're laying in bed. So we really like the new camp trailers. This one is under 3,500 pounds and it's also great for off-roading. So really fantastic trailer with just a really neat, chic design. Leave us a comment down below. Let us know which one of these small campers under 3,500 pounds you liked best. And also let us know if you have a small camper that you really like. Maybe we can add it to the list as well. We'd love to check out whatever it is that you think is fantastic as well. And speaking of checking it out, if you'd like to check out some of our other videos, just click right over here. And don't forget, leave us a thumbs up and subscribe to RV Blogger while you're there so that you can be notified every week when we release a new video. So for Mike and Susan, see you next time.